So to get started, I drew this in, and it's just a line drawing. You can see that it just looks two-dimensional now. But as soon as we start adding shadowing and shading, it's going to turn into a three-dimensional object. So um, I'm going to just start by uh, filling in the areas that I see that are shadowed. We want this all to be shadowed in the areas that need to be shadowed and light left in where the areas need to be light because when we put paint on this, the shadows come through, show through the paint. We already have everything shadowed. So we're going to start out by um, just doing a wash of uh, the main color that I see here is a burnt sienna. This is a burnt sienna down here. You can see here. Um, you could use either a gouache or a watercolor. It doesn't matter for this. If you use gouache, it's going to have a little more water in it so that you can see the graphite through it. So you want to make sure you can see your lines and make sure that your um, shading comes through too so that you're not putting on this on real thick. You're putting it on as a watercolor consistency. So you can see this pretty color coming through here. And I'm painting right over the graphite here that is shadowed. And so you can see right away what's happening here because the consistency is the same down here as it is up here. But since this has heavier graphite on it, it's um, it comes through as darker, see right up in here. So the graphite is coming through. So you already have your shadowed area in there already. Right in here, we're using a little bit of... I'm using a filbert, but there's no rule about what brush to use. Whatever is comfortable for you, uh, use that. I like. Uh, the uh, filberts because they uh, fill in fast here and they have a smooth blending quality about them. So you see how this, the color here, when it's on white, is coming through brighter. And this is coming through more shadowed right in here, darker. And that's because the graphite underneath. So this would be called um, painting in watercolor, gouache, and graphite. So a lot of times you'll see descriptions of illustrations or paintings and they'll say watercolor, body color, and graphite. That means that they are using the graphite left into the painting instead of erasing it out or just using the graphite uh, as a pencil line to know where to paint. So I'm actually using the graphite for the painting. And you also notice that uh, when you first put paint down, it, uh, it's a little brighter. And then when it dries, you can see the difference here, how bright this is compared to this. This has a little more subdued, uh, lighter color to it. Uh, that's what happens with the paints when they dry. So when you're putting your paint on, you might think, oh, this is what it's going to turn out to look like, but it doesn't. So that's why we add glazes of color over it to brighten things up and 
so it's not finished yet. So even though this color might be what you want, it's going to change as soon as it dries. 